Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. The Dallas Cowboys, today is the first day back to work as they get ready to take on the Arizona Cardinals. The Dallas Cowboys actually are getting pretty healthy at uh, this stage of the game. This time of year, it's usually a battle of attrition, although the Dallas Cowboys were down to just four linebackers. They signed another linebacker to the practice squad. But we have actually some good news uh, on the injury front because the Cowboys are getting more and more weapons and more and more people back. They have uh, designated Noah Brown uh, t for return, so he is coming back from his injury reserve. That's opening up the 21-day window for him. Also, Malik Hooker and Tristan Hill both returned to practice today, coming off of the COVID reserve list. And uh, Jaguan Hardy, running back, and Brandon Smith also returned to the practice squad um, from the COVID list. So we've got those guys. Now, in the first practice of the day, uh, excuse me, of the week, we had limited Tyron Smith and Demarcus Lawrence. Demarcus Lawrence, of course, coming back from the uh, fractured foot. Um, I think it's nothing to worry about. This isn't a new injury or anything. It is just that they're just trying to take it easy on him. And let's be clear here. Practice at this time of year, it's not what we would have, you know, like when we were in high school or college where you're, you know, padding up and you're hitting and everything else. It's really glorified walkthroughs where basically you are putting in the game plan for the week and so on and making sure we're stretching and getting in shape and getting ready to go. Um, Tyron Smith being, at this point, limited, of course, is actually pretty good because he's getting closer and closer to a return uh, at the lineup here, and he's a guy that if we can get him back healthy for the playoffs, that will bode well. That will make that offense that much better, and hopefully we can get him back. The other part of this equation, too, is we can also start looking at Blake Jarwin supposedly is close to being able to return as well. If you get Blake Jarwin back and Tyron Smith, your offense is complete. Your offense is about as healthy as it's going to be all season long and may be ready for that playoff run. You know, it's been kind of crazy to me um, listening to the talking heads about the Cowboys offense and how inconsistent it is and how, you know, it's just not there. And then listening about Aaron Rodgers and how good Andrew, Aaron Rodgers is. An interesting thing was I saw a uh, Cowboy Stats had actually they had a breakdown of uh, teams that teams faced as far as defense-wise. Believe it or not, I think the Dallas Cowboys were defenses that they faced as far as their ratings are going was somewhere in the top eight of defenses that they faced. They faced a really good competition. Aaron Rodgers and crew, I think, were in the bottom eight or nine. So they haven't exactly faced as tough a competition as what the Cowboys have. The interesting thing to me still is, and it still blows my mind, last year I believe the Green Bay Packers led the NFL in points, I want to say with 31 points per game. Uh, I can look it up to give you exactly. It's either 30 and a half or 31 and a half. I can't remember. So I'm saying 31 because that at least is a happy medium. Regardless, they were over 30 points a game last year. This year, they are averaging 25 and a half points a game. So you're looking actually a drop from last year to this year of five to six points. That's a big drop. The Cowboys really are about the same place they were with Dak Prescott last year. They were averaging like 32 points a game. Well, they're 30 and a half. They're not far from where they were last year when we were told that they were just garbage time points and garbage time yardage. So we'll see when the playoffs come through, and maybe it is that the Dallas Cowboys defense can actually put something on Aaron Rodgers, or if they get into a shootout, maybe the Cowboys can come on top. So you guys may remember, it, it was actually interesting, speaking of linebackers. A few years ago, we thought we had the best set of linebackers, young set of linebackers in the NFL, when we had the Predator and the Wolf Hunter. Um, well, the Predator is gone. The wolf hunter is still here. Um, not sure he's doing as much hunting as he used to, 
He's still been pretty good. He's been able to stay healthy, which right there, that is an improvement. And, of course, we have the lion. Um, interesting piece is Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons seemed like he's taking us a trip through the zoo right now. He likes to be known as the lion, okay? You know, and as he says, lions got to eat, which is true. I, I, quite frankly, hell, I'm no lion, but I, you know, I, this brother got to eat too. But you know what he means by that. And so, you know, he kind of said a couple weeks ago, well, we're all lions, you know, and all of us must eat. Well, now we have a new designation out there. Diggs is now the eagle. And so this is how they came up with the eagle. So Micah Parsons said, Trey was looking for an animal, and everybody wanted to be the lion. I want to be the lion. Okay, can I be the lion king? No, you can't. But I was like, nah, there's only one lion. So I was talking to Donovan Wilson and told him, you can be a jaguar. And it's funny because our friend Marvin was here. I was like, well, why are they picking names of, you know, teams that, that there's already teams, you know? I said, well, I said, quite frankly, I said, Micah Parsons saying he's the lion. I don't think anybody equates Micah Parsons with the Detroit Lions. I just don't see that connection there. Uh, they, they, nobody does. Nobody. In fact, I never even thought of that until, you know, she got me started. Um, so I was talking to Donovan Wilson and told him, you could be like a Jaguar. And he said, I like Jags. They can jump, they can swim, and they actually go and kill alligators. That one I didn't know. I didn't know. Mike, did you know that uh, jaguars kill alligators? I mean, I didn't think of jaguars being like in the south with alligators, but, but okay. See, this this is why it's good that Micah Parsons took us on, on this uh, field trip to the zoo. Um, he said they could dive into lakes and kill them. So then Trey came over, and he mentioned something, uh, and it was like, and I was like, nah, Trey. You an eagle, bro. You an eagle. You're in a league of your own. And he was like, an eagle? I mean, I'm like, oh, man, do we have to say eagle? Fly, eagles, fly? Um, and I was like, yeah, eagles only fly with other eagles. No other bird can reach their altitude. So Trey's the eagle, I'm the lion. He owns the air, and I own the ground. So that's what we got. So, <laughs> so that's what we got, too. So... That's kind of interesting. The eagle and the lion, and we got a jaguar. So I'm trying to think. Let, let's try and see if we can name some more of them, okay? I'd have to say Randy Gregory would be a rhino. What do you think of rhino? You know, he got that horn. He, he, he going to run through everything, right? I, he definitely would be a rhino. Let's see. Quentin Bohannon. Elephant? I'd say an elephant, maybe. I, he's big. He 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 big body. Elephant? Let's see. D Law. What would D Law be? D Law. He's kind of svelte. He's not oversized. He's quick and hard hitting. Hmm. D Law. Leopard? Would he be a leopard? Leopard? Hmm. I don't know. You tell me, y'all. You you figure out what animal. Let, let's see if we can find out animals for all of the defensive players out there, okay? All right, we, we know we got the wolf hunter, but let, so we can't name anybody a wolf because we don't want him hunting anybody on our own defense. But I definitely think rhino is, is the take. I, I, I can see a rhino. Rhino for Randy Gregory, okay? but And, and Quentin Bohannon, I, I think it's an elephant. An elephant, yeah. You know, elephants, you, you know, you, you got to you, you gotta watch out for them elephants. D-Law, I don't know. D-Law, D-Law, what animal is D-Law? Hmm. An Osa, what is Osa? Osa would be a middle size, but he's fast. Hmm. All right, we got to find up some killer animals here on the Joe Boo Sports Report. So that way we can uh, have our. Wild Wild Kingdom defense. Is that the name of it? Wild Kingdom? 
I don't know. Well, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. And um, I'm going to catch you guys a little bit later. Just remember one thing. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out.